you don't want to pair that with Callista. Oh, oh, and if no. they do, oh, you're against Zyra Caitlyn. Are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> Are you like Jesus? Yankos didn't see it, so this is the first gank. Lex, look for the skill shot. Broxa needs to connect to the cocoon. Throws it point blank. Odo's going low and doesn't use his flash. First blood to Fnatic. So many questions here. Oh, oh he missed it. The cocoon missed, but it's not going to stop the engage. Jesus goes all the way forward with that hook shot. They managed to get summon a heal, but nothing else. And this is again how Fnatic going to play out this lane here. They have to set up from the Camille support. They have to stealth from Reckless, and then they just bring support every time. Oh, Root onto Reckless. He manages to sidestep the Piltover Peacemaker. Summon a spell used from Jesus, though. But yeah. it looks like we might be having a 3v3 in the bot. Let's see. Oh, indeed, Trey gets jumped on. That passive shield gonna be helping out from Camille. Flash for flash. Jez is looking for nuclear. Ooh. He's gonna get dropped. Yankos is stuck in the pit. Contaminates available. Jumps onto Jesus. At least Ooh. takes one. Trades for a second. That's a double for Yankos. Reckless is running under tower. Looking for the auto in the E. Not gonna be able to kill Che. And Che's poison backs him away. Gentlemen, we jump into the top lane. Odo gets body barrel bopped forward. Soaz throws out the barrel and continuing to flash away. Soaz wins the fight. And then has to flash away. Oh, but it's not over fighting, yet. Here they all come. All right, Nuclear is the target. TV. Cocoon connects. Nuclear gets knocked up into the air. Jezus finds the kill. Fnatic with their fourth of the game. And they're going to hammer away at this tower. Specifically, H2K are the league's best team at defending their towers. They only give away half a tower per game, but they're all over the place Oof. so far. We'll have to track his itemization as we go. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be that standard Morella Nomicon Abyssal oh, with Broxa. Who's trapping who? Broxa goes up into the air with Repel, drops back down, flashes over the wall, but Fedevin with the Sphere picks up a kill. This time around, H2K actually did manage to get the upper hand. Oramna, though. Soaz looking like he's won yet another fight. They trade ultimates, but Soaz has the pressure advantage. And I think that's so important because so as is under a little bit of pressure from H2K. H2K historically have not responded the greatest to those surprises. So as is forced to flash, there's support coming up now. Reckless with ambush is available. Stealth. Does he decide to spray and pray? Caps no flash. Here. Chase gonna get jumped on. Strangle Thorns will buy some time. Captures on the front line. Here comes Jesus. He's got the baby cage. Not gonna use it yet. Double kill for Fnatic. They back away and set their sights to the tower. They've only lost to a handful of teams. G2 and UOL, all feather than he might lose his life. He Is that might a indeed. Might's gonna trade for Reckless. Flash forward. It's Yankos that gets the kill. Teleport's coming in for Soaz. It's so far a one for one. Now a teleport from Odo Wamne. Jesus puts on the Hextech ultimatum and Odo cancels the TP. Fnatic bite back a one for two. Falls a little bit flat much later in the game, but if Fnatic can just close it out before we get there, it's fine. Well, it's a 6,000 gold lead. Fnatic wanna close this game out, gentlemen. Um, but now we get to judge, right, how clean is their vision play and their map play? Because Fnatic used some shenanigans in the last few weeks. They're going to be more comfortable. And look at this, Fevervin was <laughs> almost solo killed. Reckless gets the kill secure with Spray and Prey. And now in a 5v4, Fnatic have to decide where they prioritize. Yeah, Fnatic just catching out another member of HK. Now they've got Odo Amne. Will they force his flash here? Well, yeah. let's find out. Flashes over the wall. Yankos decides to jump into five. He's locked by the ultimatum. Where's the support, Yankos? And Yankos had been the one tidying up the last few fights, getting a kill here and there the only one on h2k looking okay but now fanatic one more yeah fanatic say screw the baron we want the base jesus dashes in with that hook shot turns the attention onto odo he gets sent packing and reckless sends him to the pit that's a flash forward for broxa that's h2k they're ace and the base is being destroyed too where has this fanatic been they started to emerge just two weeks ago and now it looks like they're on the verge of game one of this best of five going their way and you could hear yankos used his ultimate to try and maybe threaten Fnatic and pull them back away, but Fnatic have already started. Remember, that's Blade of the Ruin King on this Twitch as well. We'll take it down quickly. Ooh, Jez is 2v4. This is very careful. Caps coming in from behind. Fnatic are split up. Reckless is hammering away onto Odo Wamne. The front line for H2K is already melted down. Caps is the target. Unleashed power takes him out, but it's a tank and a support for a mid laner. Fnatic in a 4v3. Febby, Nuclear, Yankos are running away, and Fnatic how do they play the next few minutes? And if you can keep HK in check, 
you can take them down. And you saw it in the last fight. Odo Omni couldn't get away, and maybe it'll happen again at this Baron here. Fnatic are on it. It's gone. No vision. Safe, simple, secured from Fnatic. Every time, it's just move in at the correct time, get an inhib, get a Baron. Reckless is behind Jankus at the moment. This is now the first super aggressive play. Spray and Praise down. Reckless is backing away from the depth charge. H2K have survived the initial onslaught. Caps is forced to back away, and the Baron and the Autos, that gets Reckless his eighth Ooh. kill. It's Caps that gets another. He loses his life in exchange, though, as Soez is now rooted up by the Bowler Strike. Inhibitor turret falls down, and Soez has found Febivin. Not enough damage to follow through. Keep your eyes and Reckless, bottom of the screen, still on full HP. Inhibitor is standing up, and Soaz doesn't care about H2K. He's been hammered on this entire fight. Baby Cage is put down, and Jezus is deciding to run away. He gets killed by Scatter the Weak, and Reckless is blown up by the Unleashed Power. Fnatic, this is getting messy at the end. So there's some safety for him to at least put damage out and return. We're back to Odo Omni. Yeah, Odo's in trouble. Caps and Jez is trying to take him down. Yankos is off in the flank. On the minimap, Reckless is making his way up from middle lane. Not even needed in that exchange. And from being composed, calm in the base for H2K, Odo Omni out on the side lane. I don't know when the last time I saw 0-6-0 for Odo Amne is, but they've got to think when was the last time they saw Reckless, because he's moving right into the base already up on that inhibitor. It is indeed. Yankus is going to get caught out by the chains. No follow-up damage, and Reckless will take down this inhibitor. A couple autos needed to finish it off. And now H2K, Super's in two lanes. You give a couple more kills over to Febivin and Nuclear, this game could be back on, but it's such a big disparity right now that this Baron would mean certain victory for Fnatic, surely. Flash away from Che. He is caught up by the Cocoon. Baron is not 100% the focus for Fnatic. Yankos has got his smite and his flash available. But there's no vision in there. They have yeah. no wards in the Baron bit, so they don't know, and they just have to back away because you got Super Minions top lane, you got Caps bot lane. No <laughs> contest of Elder plus Baron. This it's should be, be now safe clean. The rest of Fnatic are grouping up in the bottom lane. H2K are down. 14,000 gold, they've got no base left to stand, Caps has got an inhibitor, Reckless is putting pressure, like, there's nothing for H2K to do. And Banshees means no depth charge, no hook, no stun, if that's the first thing coming in, so Reckless is moving towards the base, because he knows he's safe enough, his flash is up, his heal is up, he should be able to get away from any situation. Well, should be able to if it's even needed. That's a defensive flash from Nuclear, Brox is caught. Out by the uh, bowler strike, and Che is the one that ends He's up gone. going down. He's popped by Reckless. Jezus comes in with the Hextech ultimatum, and H2K are routed and running for their lives. Odo won this, being rattled upon as Reckless chases. Flashing away there from Jezus, getting out of the damage. H2K have only lost one, make that two. The inhibitor has fallen. Super minions are being ushered onto the Nexus turrets, and a five-man Fnatic take down the first Nexus turret. Soaz goes forward. Jezus is putting damage onto Feverfin. They're keeping the H2K members busy as the Nexus is the focus. Fnatic with a few more auto attacks. They're striking first against H2K in the quarterfinals.